solar oven, also known as solar cooker, is a device that harnesses sunlight as a source of heat for cooking foodstuffs. The objective of the solar oven is to heat up the food, prevent deforestation and also desertification, and also reduce the use of traditional stuffs. There are some materials and apparatus that we are going to prepare. There is a box, a pen or a marker pen, ruler, scissors or utility knife, aluminium foil, cellophane tape, plastic wrap, a sheet of black paper, a wooden skewer, a chocolate bar, a plate that is made by aluminium foil while the thermometer is not necessary. And we are going to do this project on a sunny day. First, we have to draw a square on the top of the box. Then, cut along each side of the square, except for the side that runs along the hinge of the box. Line the inside of the cupboard flat with the aluminium foil and use tape to fix it. Cover the opening in the lid with the layer of plastic wrap and use tape to fix it. Same action as before, cover with the layer of plastic wrap in the other side. Line the inside of the box with aluminium foil. After that, tap paper to the bottom of the box and use tape to fix it and place the plate in the box and put the chocolate bar into it. Next, use tape and wooden skewer to prop the flap up and make sure it is about 19 degrees. The theory involved in this project is the law of reflection. The sun produces high amount of energy in the form of light. The light beams down onto the solar oven. The opening of the solar oven lets the light enter and the angle flap, which is cotton with aluminium foil, which helps to reflect light into the oven and also used to heat up the cooking utensils. Well, there is also a theory involved in this project, which is radiation. The light transfer energy to the air molecules by a method known as radiation, which converts light into a heat energy to raising the oven's air temperature. The radiation occurs when heat is transferred without direct contenting. The heat is transferred to electromagnetic waves traveling through the air. So we can make a conclusion that the more energy that the light that is captured and absorbed, the higher the temperature the oven can get. There is also another theory involved in this project, which is conduction. The conduction occurs when object transfer heat to another object through direct contact. Our atmosphere obtains its heat through conduction with the Earth's surface. In the solar oven, conduction occurs when the black paper in the box helps absorb most of the energy from the light that touches and converting it to heat energy that is transferred to the air molecules. Now, I am going to talk about the theory of convection. Through convection, the warm air circulates through out the box and cannot escape through out the box with the plastic film over the opening. This heats and cools the chocolate bar. For example, a similar effect is observed in a car on a hot day. The sun enters through the car's window, warming the inside of the car, but the heat is unable to escape, causing the car to become very hot and also this process is known as the greenhouse effect. Besides, the application of the solar oven involves the roasting coffee and peanut for commercial purposes. The usage of the solar cooker can help in efficient use of renewable energy for roasting of consumption items such as coffee beans, peanuts and also the popcorns. Besides, there is another application which is the separation of beeswax and capping. This process usually prefers solar cooker because it is natural and won't damage sensitive food products, such as in honey manufacturing. And now it is about the water purification. The water is heated for domestic purposes like bathing, washing clothes or doing dishes. 
while dehydration is for domestic use, such as dehydrating food in a solar box style, in which the vents are partially open for the use circulation of air, and also the lid or the air are partially open to prevent from excess heating.